decided I wanted to try to make these cauliflower wraps. Since I don't really like salads on their own, what I do is I make a full salad that looks decently good even though I know I won't enjoy it. But then if you wrap it up into a wrap, it just makes it 10 times better. So I decided if I make these cauliflower wraps, maybe I can do that, but it'll be a lot more healthy as opposed to a flour or corn tortilla. It'll be a cauliflower tortilla. So I'm gonna try my best. It might not turn out perfectly because I've never done it before, but it's worth a shot. Right? So I found a recipe online that I'm gonna follow. I'm not making this up on my own. Um, it's from slimpalette.com. I'll put the link down in the description for you guys. So we will be needing some cauliflower. I think about three quarters of a head of cauliflower. We will need two eggs. And then last but not least, just some salt and pepper to taste. So the first step is to preheat your oven to 375. So I was looking at the recipe and it says that it makes um, from about four to seven wraps. I'm just making this for myself right now, so I think I'm gonna half the ingredients. It might turn out a lot worse, so I'm just letting you know that if you wanna make it properly, I would suggest doing the three quarters of a head of cauliflower and two eggs. I'm gonna try just doing about one quarter or one half of the cauliflower and then I'm just gonna do one egg and see how that turns out. I've never actually used cauliflower before. I'm still a young and you guys, I don't know how to cook. So I'm just gonna go right on in. And it says to um, disregard the roots so you don't need any of this. If you wanna chop it up um, more thinly, you can as well. But part of the process is just to put it in a blender. It's called ricing, to quote them. Um, you want it to look as thin as rice, so it would probably help you in the process if you did cut it up, but I trust my blender to do the job, so I'm just gonna throw it in. So my blender's in the dishwasher, so I'm just gonna use my food processor. Uh, obviously, you guys can choose whatever you want. This is probably actually better anyways. And then I'm just gonna throw my cauliflower in here. So the recipe says just to pulse it until it is about rice, maybe even thinner than rice, just for the volume of it. I thought it would take a lot longer, but you know, this looks pretty thin to me. Let's take a look. That looks fluffy. It looks thinner than rice, totally. So for those of you following the recipe, this is supposed to come out as two cups. I'm just gonna grab a I don't think this comes off. Yes, it does. I am so messed up, guys. And then when you're measuring it out and you get a cup, just stick it into a bowl because we're going to be putting it in the microwave. So I have one cup here patted down, my bowl. Stick it in the bowl. So I came with about one and a half, a little bit over a half there. Um, so maybe I'll just do one egg and one egg white or something. You never know. Cooking is improvisation, guys. Even if you're not a cook, you can do it. Okay. Don't let anyone tell you any different. All right, now that I've had my bowl of cauliflower, we're gonna put it into the microwave. And you put it in for two minutes. All right, the two minutes is up here. So then you take it out fogging up my camera there. And then you're supposed to give it a stir. And then you put it in for another two minutes. If you want to feel productive, just wash out your food processor or your blender while it's in the microwave. Then it gives you something to do instead of waiting around. And you feel like you're actually getting stuff done at the same time. Sparkly clean and the two minutes is up. Oh yeah. Let's just whoa, whoa. Now the next step may actually burn you. <laughs> so what you gotta do is grab a dish towel and then place it inside here. Grab the spoon you were using earlier and just dish out all the cauliflower onto the dish towel here. Now if you have gloves or anything because you're afraid of it burning you, that might actually be a good idea. Maybe even oven mitts, I don't really know. I've never actually done this before, so I'm gonna see how bad it is for now. What we're gonna do is just roll the cauliflower up into the dish towel like this, and then just go over to the sink here and wring it out as if it's wet laundry that you're trying to get all the water out of. Ow, yeah, it definitely burns. Uh, so I'm gonna 
gonna grab my oven mitts actually. Just as long as you've noticed you've got some water out of it, like I'd be proud. This towel is soaked now, so I think I did a pretty, a fairly good job. And then next, what you wanna do is just put it back in your bowl. My bowl I chose was a little bit smaller, I didn't realize we'd be using it again. But I think it should be okay. So I'm just gonna put all of this back into the bowl. So your drained cauliflower is now back inside the bowl. And now's the time to add the eggs and your salt and pepper. It says that it should be runny, but not too watery either. So just watch out for that. It doesn't say to whisk it, so I'm just using the same spoon that I used earlier. And this is what it came out like. If you do have parchment paper, it does suggest that you use it. I don't have any, or wax paper, whatever you like to call it, so I'm just gonna oil my pan. Try making the circles now. This is the part I was a little bit worried about. You wanna make it pretty flat. Obviously, you know what a tortilla is like. Whatever kind of density you like in your tortilla, if you like the really thin ones, or if you like them thick. I like mine pretty thin, so I'm just gonna try and make it as thin as I can. So this is how mine turned out. It's obviously not perfectly circular. Um, it's not as if I have a gigantic cookie cutter that could help make it nice, but who needs to be a perfectionist as long as it tastes good. And place it in there. We're gonna cook it for about 10 minutes on this side. In the meantime, I've just chopped up some vegetables, just some cucumbers and some orange peppers. And I also made some chicken earlier. Look at that, yum. Grab that here. It's starting to smell decent. <laughs> so here's mine. My tortilla got pretty stuck, so I'm just gonna add some more oil. So now since I got it up, I'm gonna flip it over. Ready? All right, so this is what it looks like now, a little bit like a pizza crust. So we have to put it in again, this time a little bit shorter, but not by much. It says about five to seven minutes. So the time is up now, time to take it out again. Now I have a feeling this isn't gonna fold very well. <laughs> and then you just gotta put it on a cooling rack, so I just happen to have one right here. And just let it cool for a little while. And then over medium heat, just put the tortillas in a pan. What this does is just crisps the edges slightly, um, so it just kind of browns them and makes it tastier. Time to add the insides. Here I have some lettuce. And then I just have the vegetables I cut up earlier. And finally, my chicken. And just dribble on the dressing of your choice. So here's the final product. It looks pretty small, but let's see if I can kind of roll it. There's too many things inside. But look at that, it does. I'm just gonna fold it in half. But your guys' is bigger, so you might be able to do it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and stuck it out with me to try it. Um, I hope it worked well for you, and I'm about to go taste it right now. Let's see how yummy it is. See you guys again soon, bye!